is I didn't want to plug it in because it's going to be a little bit extra math. But what I wanted to show you guys, if, we, if they're saying is x minus 5 a factor, it's a factor if and only if you're going to have a remainder of 0. So what we can do to verify this is apply synthetic division. Now remember, x minus r is a factor only if r, when you plug in r, is your 0. So therefore, we can say x minus 5. So what's going to be actually our r? Remember how we solve 5, so we get x equals 5. So now let's apply synthetic division. So we have 1, negative 7, 7, 15. All right? So we want to see if this is going to be a factor or not. So what we do is we have 1, we bring down the 1. 1 times 5 is going to be 5, negative 2. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10, which is negative 3, negative 15, and 0. So therefore, by applying synthetic division, can we show that x minus 5 is a factor? Yes. And, and what else, what do you guys would say then if I would have plugged in x of 5. What is x of 5, f of 5, what we just worked on, what would you guys assume that's going to, what would you now know that's going to be? It's equal to. Equal to 0, right? Because we showed in other examples that when using your synthetic division and then plugging in that same term into your function, you're going to get the same value. So therefore, since we know when we plug f of 5 in for 0, we now know that this is going to be a factor of the polynomial, right? Kind of, yes? So now, what I want to go through, though, is we determine that this is a factor. But guess what? We're not going to be just determining one factor. We want to know all the factors that divide into it, right? So what we have is we have a remainder. So now we know that, we know that x minus 5 is a factor. So our factors are x minus 5. We know that's a factor. Dustin, could you put that book down, down below your desk, please? So now, by going through our work, we have a remainder a constant, a linear, and a quadratic. So we're going to have x squared minus 2x minus 3. Okay, And what I mean by factor, remember that, that means we can kind of write this as a product of this times x minus 5. Now, can we factor this further? Hence the reason why we spent so long last yeah. section. Yeah, we can factor this further, can't we? We can break this down into uh, x minus 3 times x plus 1. So therefore, now we can say that all of our factors are x minus 5, x minus 3, and x plus 1. Well, ladies and gentlemen, how do we write this out, or how can we even check this? Remember, we factor something to write it as a product. That means the product of all of our factors is going to, product of all of our factors is going to give us back our original equation. All right? So to, to find all of your factors, well, first, to determine if a number is a factor, or if a binomial is a factor, you can apply synthetic division and determine if you have a remainder of 0. If you have a remainder of 0, you know that your binomial is a factor. Then, to find the remaining factors, you can continue by factoring out your result to factor it down further. Okay? And you guys can see now we have a list of factors. So, we're still kind of getting to the infancy age.